in the old time, we don't have enough communication system. We don't have enough, uh, how say, um, transportation system. But we have a better, uh, a better advantage. Uh, we could go into a small island somewhere and hide ourselves, yeah, and become self-sufficient, and nobody ever find out, and nobody bother, yeah, because most of the land at that time are still not uh, known to every country, and nobody own a, a, a lot of everything. But nowadays, you you cannot hide anywhere, <laughs> you cannot do anything. You understand? Uh, even if we want to have a place just to hide, to meditate together. Still, we will not be left alone in peace. Yeah. So, okay, count our, count our blessing as long as it lasts. It's, it's nice, sorry. I apologize for this uh, very <laughs> primitive kind of uh, meditation hall, but we have a hall. And you have a roof and all that. Because you can't build it here. You can't build this kind of hall anywhere. You understand? They just don't allow. They allow you to build a chicken farm or a big hall like this for chicken running around, okay. <laughs> but human cannot run around in this kind of, <laughs> of hall. You know that, yeah? Uh, chicken or pig or whatever, fine. So if you want to have peace, you can reincarnate again <laughs> as a chicken. <laughs> and you never have problem with visa or ID or anything. Because just a few years and then goodbye. <laughs> you go into the water <laughs> boiling <laughs> anyway so i'm sorry for the inconvenience here but at least we we have peace here and we can meditate together for a while and it's you know it's our home and we don't have to rush anywhere yeah and i know you don't have uh, enough uh, land to, to 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 camp and all that because i don't know why they have to buy a place with so <laughs> So so tiny piece of flat land like that, but still you okay, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. enjoy, huh? Yeah. yeah, I enjoy you also. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, I I appreciate that you come from a long way and you don't mind sitting on the ground, dirty ground like that. But that was I. That's the way I used to sit in India everywhere. It wasn't this. It's muddy, wet all the time. In the Himalayas, wet. It's snowing, you know, and it's raining, and people come in with wet shoes all the time, and you just sleep anywhere, and they walk on your head and <laughs> over your head. And <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> India, man, this <laughs> is <it's> not. <laughs> they go on pilgrim, and you're one of them only. And they walk anywhere, yeah. And uh, even if if you if they don't if you sit on your seat, and if you they come in and they see you sit on the seat, they just push you out and sit on it. <laughs> yeah. No matter if you're a woman or you're nun, don't care. Yeah, some some country are like that. So it's actually very good here already. If you have been to the worst, you would appreciate this. Yeah, even though it don't look as good as I want it to do to be. Mm. But even then, if we could build a house like this, it will not be enough either. Later on, it will not be enough, right? So it's never enough. So we might just well get used to with the tent idea, huh? Yeah. Anyhow, it's a change for you also, right? I think you like it because you, you have enough with cement and concrete at home now. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> huh? Make you, stronger. Make you stronger? Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. That's make yeah. you stronger. Because you carry a lot of luggage and <laughs> running up and down, right? And fighting for food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and queue for blessed uh, candy and whatever. Yeah, that's what I said. A lot of people ask me, Master, every other yoga that teach people exercise and you know, why don't you teach your disciple also exercise? I said, No need, we exercise <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Natural, you know. And if anybody who wants to, 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 to slim down their figure, you know, just run with me through the airports. <laughs> you know, like me, you know, sometimes I, I run through the airports, I don't have enough time for transit. Oh, I run like mad. <laughs> And when I come, I feel like all the muscle is developed overnight. You know, <laughs> just just two hours running is enough for all my feet and my my legs and my arms become very tough. Yeah, so I I don't think I ever need exercise at all, and neither do you. If we keep running for lecture like this, you know, from one airport to another, and sometimes the airplane is late, 
and our next airplane is already there, and then you know what exercise really means. <laughs> Especially when the, the escalator stopped. <laughs> no electricity. And then you have to run with all this stuff, huh? Oh, that's really exercise. Uh, the whole world with everybody who have like aerobic exercise program video, all that, nothing to do, nothing compared to us. If we video all this, you know, master and disciple, all this exercise program, <laughs> we sell in uh, best selling in <laughs> no time. Everybody, everybody will be amazed what we can do, huh? How many kilo and all that? <laughs>